get there. <laughs> but it is all in our way. <laughs> you just gotta let her dig a little bit. Though. You can't worry about the paint and the graphics here. <laughs> you know, I mean, last year I only had a, a, one scrape on my door and that was it. A few moments later. You just hanging out? Yeah, I'm literally just hanging out. He said that was the line, but I don't believe him for some reason. <laughs> The perfect line, but it doesn't feel like it. You get a little more gas earlier, I think. Yeah, I think when you so. hit the dirt, I was just trying to let it wait I'm gonna and then drive out. All right, half second late on the throttle, I'd say. <laughs> got to break in the race car now we're gonna go out and uh go do some more pre-running in the uh good old can-am so let's go see what we can get ourselves up to good save <laughs> good save With the engines, power, and the turbo spinning, jump and land on rocks, like with the throttle on, basically all that power's gotta go somewhere. The axles are the weak point that will snap when you uh, get in a situation where the car slaps down with throttle, and the throttle's on, so. These rocks and the way it is out here will break any car that's just gnarly, so. Rocks is about the gnarliest thing you can go through. That's part of the battle, right? Uh, it's a first, dude, to be honest. Yeah, the goal really, really this yeah. year is I just want to finish this race, but overall you get competitive and you want to do good. So we're going to go out here and do some pre-running, check out the desert, and go check out the rocks. It's a new adventure. I'm used to racing short course or moto, and it's just you're just pinned the whole time. So this is a little different. you got to think through it. Uh, but the car looks sick. We're going through tech, and this will be a good day. So uh, let's go see what we're going to get up to. gonna grab some 110 race fuel and then go out on the trails and we've got a bunch of dudes from YouTube coming today so we're gonna have some fun Inter introduce more people to the sport I love off-road I love being in the dirt it's uh, one of those things so hopefully we can introduce more people to it there's thousands of people out here thousands of people so uh, if you're not here you probably should experience it at least once in your life it's pretty cool so let's go hit the trail all right we're with Brian Deegan here he's gonna show us a little bit of his world we're gonna be driving on rocks and shit. <laughs> and um we have no idea what to expect by yeah, the way right? so a blank canvas right now so what we're down for anything, but uh, yeah, we're usually in our car, like vlogging. We were in, we're, we don't leave 15 minutes past our house. Like we, this is the first time <laughs> we're going to film something. They're far from home. What's this the do rag? <laughs> My hair's so dirty, dude. I'm Prison Mike. You know why they call me Prison Mike? We're just cruise, so you can check it out. We're not gonna get too gnarly. What up, man? We're here at King of the Hammers. You made it. I'm oh, so. Hey Phil, what's going through your mind right now? A lot of things. My whole life is going through my head. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't called my mom in like three days, and I feel really bad. I should have called her. Maybe <laughs> I don't even like flying. Like I, 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 I freak out when I'm in a plane. This is definitely much more intense than that. Yeah, out here oh, we're trying thing. to find some areas to go mess around. There's okay. so many people here. We'll you just here just have to be careful because dudes are coming every which way. So we'll kind of hit this jump, mess around in this area. 
And um, you all just have to tell us if we're clear or not, you know? Yeah. yeah I'll, and I'll just be here praying. <laughs> we're both doing something very important. <laughs> yeah, we're pinning it through the sand whoops on the way here, and he's just like, ah! <laughs> You have like a zipper yeah, thing in there? Just yes, have your filmer grab it, it, and then that way we won't we won't lose it. Yeah, God. we'll just Here, go. Here, my wallet too. Here, I'll hold that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> God, I'm like shit. <laughs> Bro, look at our wheel. Look at our wheel. Taco the what arm. Happened? This is an experience for sure, Let's man. Let's do it. Survive the day. Let's do it. All right, see ya. What was the wow. favorite part out there? The f***ing jump. The jump. Was yep. That shit was so dope. The jump was so sick. My favorite part was the dust cloud that went into my face. Couldn't see anything. That was probably my favorite part because I didn't know how scary it was. But we, we went up and then went down, and then we hit this, we hit this hole, and then, and then we bottomed out, and then whoop, and then it went. And then it went. Oh, wow! Just drop in, just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, ah. You know? You know what I mean? You got pitted. I did. We're supposed to qualify later today, and they just announced that I'm up right. <laughs> that I'm up right now, so I don't want to miss my qualifying. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Then you start last behind 150 UTVs. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully, if not, I gotta go put my gear on and wing it, so we'll see. See how it rolls. Got the Haley neck brace. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head out to qualify. There's two minute lap time and try to get us a good starting spot so you don't eat dust all day. I told Hudson, um, I get him crazy hard to get back to North Carolina because our driveway goes like down, you know, that scoop up. Oh my God, so much fun. <laughs> Most guys won't even go up that, they just go around. 
And I'm sure the 80 to 100 guys we beat in qualifying all went around the, the, the steep wall that we went up. And the steep wall was probably saves a couple seconds, but I think all the good guys will obviously take that line. Um, but first year, uh, goal is just not to start in the back. So we'll be good. We'll start up with the good guys. And um, we didn't make any like drastic mistakes, which could have happened, but uh, everything went pretty good. So we'll be fine. Let's get the whole dirty experience. So Marisa came out with Hayden. I'm like, you know what? You can't come out here and not go on some trails. So right. I'm gonna take him out and go do some rock calling. See that, so at least kind of have an idea of what we're doing out here, you know. It's always better when the 